Egeanos Y la mano en el giga gaya Jesus 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 I give you a mouth and a wisdom that your enemies cannot resist nor gain sin. Glory to God! Latoa, Meanoa. In fact, the way he puts it in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 is very interesting. Put it up for me. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. That is our war is not natural. Verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. He is dealing with preaching here. The warfare is the preaching of the gospel. That's warfare. Look at verse 5. Oh, I love this. Casting down imaginations through preaching and teaching and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought that's where the war is every thought the war is not in the market square the war is not in the farm in the village casting down imagination bringing down thoughts that came from the world system and influence your behavior now those thoughts have to be brought down if there will be a change of behavior and those thoughts can only be brought down through the preaching of the gospel so warfare is not done on your knees warfare is done on your foot as you preach the preaching of the gospel is warfare casting down images formed by ungodly worlds bringing thoughts of fear thoughts of condemnation thoughts of defeat thoughts of guilt and every thought that tries to deprive you of the riches of redemption every thought every mindset that takes you back again to bondage to fear pulling them down by the teaching and the preaching of god's word not on your knees on your food only you remember that's what dr t l osborne told us many years ago in london we were hanging out with dr t l osborne and we were privileged you know to spend that kind of time with him and then he looked at mama and i and he said you don't do warfare even though I didn't understand what he said as at that time, until many years after, he said to me, you don't do warfare on your knees. You do warfare on your foot. What is he talking about? It didn't make sense, but I kept it in one compartment of my mind. Years after, I understood what he meant. Warfare is not kneeling down and ya no, ga, 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 ga. no. The real warfare is when you engage mindsets. When you start teaching and the thoughts of religion, long-standing religion, and the thoughts of wrong teaching that have been constructed inside people for 40, 50 years. That's the only thing they know. And then now you come against it with preaching they fight it you push they fight you push you pray you come back again you push and eventually it collapses their eyes open oh it's true heaven is not at last heaven is at first i'm teaching god mindsets thought patterns that exalt itself above the knowledge of the finished work of Christ. You know, that's why our ministry comes under a lot of warfare. That's why many people don't like what we do. You know, because we are coming against thoughts 
long standing thoughts how can the Tadamina say water baptism is not in the Bible they've been baptizing people before he was born when did he start reading Bible that's war how can Dr. Damina say sin cannot take a man to hell that's why I stopped listening to him that's why I stopped listening to him because that message is antichrist <laughs> they don't even know the meaning of antichrist so if they want to know the meaning of antichrist they should go and study antibiotics if they understand antibiotics they may understand antichrist say I used to follow Dr. Damina until he said Communion is not New Testament. How? 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 Warfare, brother. That's warfare. That's a war zone. That's a war zone. And when we get in there, we engage their thought pattern. We bring strong arguments. We bring a strong apologia. We set up our defense and pull the rug under their feet and leave them on flat floor against such there is no law <laughs> somebody start, said but I thought the preaching of the gospel is supposed to be a message of peace yes there can only be peace after war it is called peacekeeping force force peace force peace why did he say you shod your feet not your hand it's your feet that you shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace so the gospel of peace is in your leg and god shall bruise satan under your feet your feet that is peace is bruising satan may god give you understanding say that dr damina is very troublesome look at my forehead now can't you see even the hair has run away too much trouble wahala woto woto violence Jesus didn't die in vain. We were born for this mission. To defend the integrity and the sanctity and the sacredness of the gospel of Christ. And in our lifetime, it is happening real time. Somebody shout, I hear, I hear. Sit down first, sit down first. 